I never imagined myself as someone destined for the limelight. In fact, I preferred the comfort of anonymity, the safety of blending into the background. But fate had other plans for me, plans that would thrust me into a spotlight I never could have anticipated. It all started with that announcement over the crackling intercom. Attention students, we're thrilled to announce that our school has won a prestigious contest. We've been chosen to participate in a live TV show about costume design. Excitement rippled through the corridors like a wave, but for me, it sparked a different emotion entirely. A knot of apprehension formed in the pit of my stomach, a sense of dread looming over me like a dark cloud. The thought of being on television, exposed to the scrutiny of an unseen audience, filled me with a sense of unease I couldn't shake. Despite my reservations, I found myself swept up in the whirlwind of activity as preparations for the TV show kicked into high gear. My classmates and teachers were buzzing with excitement, eager to showcase our school's talent on a national stage. But for me, the mounting pressure only intensified my inner turmoil. I struggled to reconcile my own fears and insecurities with the expectations thrust upon me by others. With each passing day, the prospect of being in front of cameras loomed larger, a daunting challenge I wasn't sure I was ready to face. The night before the big day, sleep eluded me like a fleeting dream. Tossing and turning beneath the weight of anticipation, I couldn't shake the nagging sense of unease that had settled over me like a heavy blanket. As I lay in bed, the dim glow of the moon casting shadows across my room, I couldn't help but replay the events of the day in my mind. The excitement of my parents, their eager anticipation for the live TV show, stood in stark contrast to the gnawing anxiety that churned within me. My mom and dad's enthusiasm was palpable, their words of encouragement echoing in my mind like a broken record. You'll be amazing, David, they had said, their smiles masking the concern lurking beneath the surface. But despite their reassurances, I couldn't shake the sense of foreboding that clung to me like a shadow. The thought of standing in front of cameras, exposed and vulnerable, sent a shiver down my spine. As the minutes ticked by, the darkness of the night stretched on endlessly, each passing hour only amplifying my unease. The impending dawn brought with it a sense of dread, a looming reminder of the challenges that awaited me on live television. And so, with a heavy heart and a mind plagued by uncertainty, I drifted into a fitful slumber, my dreams haunted by visions of bright lights and judgmental eyes. Little did I know, the morning would bring a trial unlike any other, one that would test me in ways I never thought possible. Stepping into the TV studios felt like entering a whole new world, a realm where reality blurred with fantasy and imagination knew no bounds. My eyes widened in wonder as I took in the bustling scene before me, the air alive with excitement and anticipation. Rows upon rows of costumes adorned the racks, a kaleidoscope of colors and textures that beckoned to be explored. From elaborate period pieces to futuristic ensembles straight out of a sci-fi epic, the sheer variety was enough to make my head spin. As I wandered through the maze of costumes, my senses were assaulted by a whirlwind of sights and sounds. The hum of activity filled the air, punctuated by the occasional burst of laughter or excited chatter from the crew. And then, like a beacon cutting through the chaos, the producers appeared, their authoritative voices commanding attention as they outlined the plan for the day. With practiced precision, they explained the format of the show, detailing each segment and what was expected of us as contestants. As the countdown began, my heart quickened its pace, a nervous energy coursing through my veins. With a deep breath, I squared my shoulders and plastered a smile on my face, determined to put on a brave front despite the jumbly of emotions swirling inside me. As the host introduced our school and explained how we had won the competition, a surge of pride swelled within me. It was an incredible opportunity, one that promised to showcase our creativity and talent to a nationwide audience. 
But as the host continued to speak, outlining the capabilities of the costume designers and their ability to transform anyone into anything, a ripple of nervous laughter rippled through the group. Someone from my school, emboldened by the excitement of the moment, blurted out a question. Can you turn a guy into a girl? The question hung in the air, eliciting a mixture of chuckles and intrigued murmurs. But before anyone could respond, my friend couldn't resist making a wisecrack under his breath. Unfortunately, my laugh betrayed me, drawing the attention of the host. Her gaze locked onto me, her eyes twinkling with mischief as she declared, Well, it seems we've found our volunteer. My heart skipped a beat as the realization sank in. Me? The center of attention? The thought sent a shiver down my spine, but before I could protest, the host was already ushering me forward, her enthusiasm contagious. It was as if fate had intervened, thrusting me into a role I had never anticipated nor desired. As I stood before the cameras, a knot of anxiety coiled in the pit of my stomach. As the host declared her intentions to transform me into a beautiful girl, my protests were lost amidst the whirlwind of activity. Before I could voice my objections, a pink wig was placed upon my head, the strands cascading around my shoulders like a soft veil. Suddenly, a curtain descended in front of me, shielding me from the prying eyes of the camera. With deft hands, the costume designers set to work, stripping away my clothes and replacing them with delicate lingerie. Panties and a bra were slipped onto my frame, their silky embrace feeling foreign yet oddly comforting against my skin. Before I could fully comprehend the situation, a dress was draped over my form, its fabric swirling around me in a whirl of color and texture. As I adjusted to the sensation of wearing women's clothing, a mischievous grin spread across the face of one of the designers. With a playful swat to my rear, she teased, You look sexy, honey. Heat rushed to my cheeks as I squirmed uncomfortably under her gaze, acutely aware of the unfamiliar weight of the dress and the wig atop my head. Despite my mounting discomfort, there was a strange thrill coursing through my veins, a sense of liberation tinged with apprehension as I contemplated the spectacle unfolding before me. As another designer meticulously enhanced my curves with padding, I couldn't help but marvel at the transformation taking place before my eyes. With each adjustment, I felt the contours of my body shifting, morphing into a version of femininity I had never imagined. The sensation of the enhancers against my skin was both strange and strangely exhilarating, amplifying my sense of femininity in ways I had never experienced before. And when the designer slipped my feet into a pair of delicate heels, I couldn't suppress a gasp as I wobbled unsteadily, my balance thrown off by the unfamiliar footwear. But as I stumbled, the designer's reassuring wink and words of encouragement brought a smile to my lips. It's all about balance, honey, she quipped, her playful tone echoing in my ears as the curtain fell around me. In that moment of sudden privacy, I took a deep breath, stealing myself for what lay ahead. With my friends cheering me on from the sidelines, I knew I had to make the best of this unexpected turn of events. So, with a determined smile plastered on my face, I turned to face the camera as the host's voice cut through the air. And beautiful lady, what's your name? The host inquired, her gaze fixed on me expectantly. Summoning every ounce of femininity I could muster, I let my voice flow with a soft, melodious lilt as I replied, Maya. And in that simple utterance, I embraced the persona thrust upon me, ready to navigate the spotlight with grace and poise. The studio lights cast a warm glow upon me, their radiance reflecting off the sequins of my dress and the gloss of my newly painted lips. And as I stood there, bathed in their luminous embrace, I couldn't help but feel a surge of confidence coursing through my veins. The host smiled encouragingly, her eyes sparkling with curiosity as she leaned forward, eager to hear more from the newly christened Maya. And what brings you to our show today, Maya? She asked, 
her voice a soothing melody amidst the hum of excitement that filled the air. For a brief moment, I hesitated, acutely aware of the eyes upon me and the weight of my words. But then, drawing upon the reservoir of courage within me, I met the host's gaze with a serene smile. I'm here to explore the transformative power of costume design, I replied, my voice steady and sure, to experience firsthand the magic of becoming someone new, if only for a moment. Thank you for your participation, Maya, the host said, her voice warm and appreciative. You were absolutely delightful, and I'm sure our viewers thoroughly enjoyed witnessing your transformation. Summoning a gracious smile, I replied, Thank you. It was truly an honor to be a part of this experience. With a grateful nod to the host, I followed her lead and made my way to the side of the stage, where the team of designers awaited, poised and ready to undo their handiwork. As they set to work, delicately removing the layers of my transformed appearance, I couldn't help but feel a pang of reluctance, a desire to cling to the newfound confidence and allure of Maya. But then, as the dress slipped from my shoulders and the heels were carefully eased from my feet, I found myself hesitating. Actually, I began, surprising even myself with the conviction in my voice. I think I prefer myself with the dress. The designers exchanged puzzled glances, clearly taken aback by my unexpected declaration. However, one of them, a woman with a gentle smile, quickly recovered and nodded in understanding. Of course, darling, she said reassuringly. Let's touch up your makeup, shall we? With that, they ushered me over to the vanity, where I settled into the chair once more, feeling a sense of contentment wash over me. As they worked their magic, delicately enhancing my features with subtle strokes of blush and mascara, they showered me with compliments, their words a soothing balm to my soul. Amidst the gentle hum of conversation, the host approached, her expression warm and appreciative. Maya, darling, you were simply stunning out there, the host exclaimed, a genuine smile lighting up her face. Your poise and grace under pressure were truly commendable. We're so grateful for your participation today. I felt a surge of pride at her words, grateful for the acknowledgement of my efforts. Thank you so much. I replied, my voice tinged with sincerity. It was an incredible experience. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.